Hi, what is the value of A? Given that you have 5 to the power of A plus 5 to the power of A equals 100, let's have it to be solution. So 5 to the power of A is common. We can factor it out to be 5 to the power of A. Open bracket, this divided by this will be 1. Plus this divided by this will also be 1. Then equals 100. So from here we have 5 to the power of A multiplied by 1 plus 1 will give us 2 equals 100. So then let from here, let divide through by 2. Then this will cancel this. So we are going to have 5 to the power of A equals 100 divided by 2. So we have 5 to the power of A equals 100 divided by 2. We give us 50. Then from here, we can have here to be 5 to the power of A equals 50 can be simplified as 5 times 10. Put them in parentheses. Then let's introduce log to both sides. So we have here to be log 5 to the power of A equals log 5 times 10. Then let us recall that when we have log P to the power of M equals M multiplied by log P, meaning that the base, we come down to the power here, we come down to base. Let's apply it to this. So we have A multiplied by log 5. The power, we come down to base here, equals log 5 times 10. So let's do something reasonable with this again. Recall that when we have log A times B, in parentheses, equals as when we have log A plus log B. This also equals this. Multiplication, which is to addition. So let's apply it here. So we are going to have A multiplied by log 5 equals log 5 plus log 10. So from here, let's divide through by this. So this, we take away this. We are going to have A to be equals log 5 divided by this separately plus log 10 divided by this separately. Now mind you, log 5 divided by log 5 will give us 1. So here will be A equals this divided by this will be 1 plus log. We can also simplify 10 to be 5 times 2 then divided by log 5. So having known this one, so this multiplication, we can now change to addition. So we can have it here again as A will be equals 1 plus log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 5. So from here we have a to be equals, divide this by this again, we have log 5 divided by log 5 plus log 2 divided by log 5. So, we have A to be equals 1 plus this divided by this again will be also 1 plus log 2 divided by log Five. A will be equals one plus one will give us two plus log two divided by log five. Now let us recall that when we have log A divided by log B equals as log A in base B. So applying it here. We can have this as A equals 2 plus log 2 in base 5. This is the value of A. Then let us now check to verify. Recall that we have 5 to the power of A plus 5 to the power of A equals 100. Then we have to substitute this one. So here will be 5 to the power of 2 
plus log 2 in base 5 plus again this 5 to the power of 2 plus log 2 in base 5 then is it going to give us 100 so we have this to be common repeated twice so we can have it take 1 5 to the power of log 2 5 to the power of 2 plus log 2 in base 5 we open the bracket so far it is common we can factor one outside this divided by this will be one plus this divided by this will also be one then is it going to give us 100 we have one plus one will give us two it's a constant multiply by this two five to the power of two plus log two in base five then it's going to give us 100 so Recall that we can have a to the power of m plus n from the law of indices to be equals a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So from here, this equals this. Let us apply it here. We have 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5. Then it's going to give us 100. So 5 to the power of 2 will give us 25. Times this, we have 2 times 25. Multiply by 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5. Then it's going to give us 100. 2 times 5, 2 times 25, will give us 50. Multiply by 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5, then it's going to give us 100. Now recall that when we have a to the power of log b in base a, so far they have the same base with different power, so the output will be cos b. They have the same base, but this is different, so the output will be cos this. Then from here, we are going to have it to be 50 times the same, the output will be 2, which will cost 100. So, 2 times 0 will give us 0. 2 times 5 will give us 10, cost 100, cost 100. So, if you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Bye-bye!